New at five, a stunning admission on Capitol Hill as a U.S. senator reveals she was raped while in the Air Force. CBS 2's Dana Tyler here now with more for us. Dana. All right, uh, Maurice and uh, Jessica, Arizona Republican Senator Martha McSally says she was sexually assaulted by a superior officer. Senator McSally, who served 26 years in the U.S. Air Force, testified during a Senate hearing on sex assaults in the armed forces. Listen. I am also a military sexual assault survivor. But unlike so many brave survivors, I didn't report being sexually assaulted. Like so many women and men, I didn't trust the system at the time. I blamed myself. I was ashamed and confused. I thought I was strong, but felt powerless. The perpetrators abused their position of power in profound ways. And in one case, I was preyed upon and then raped by a superior officer. Like many victims, I felt the system was raping me all over again. McSally was the first female fighter pilot to fly a combat mission and the first woman to command a fighter squadron in U.S. history. The Air Force issued this statement this afternoon, quote, we are appalled and deeply sorry for what Senator McSally experienced, and we stand behind her and all victims of sexual assault. We are steadfast in our commitment to eliminate this reprehensible behavior and breach of trust in our ranks. Now, the Department of Defense uh, last year releasing a statement saying reports of sexual assaults across all four military services increased by 10% in 2017. That's about 6,800 reports of sexual assault involving service members as either victims or subjects of criminal investigations. Maurice, Jessica, 